Hey there, VCHHG students. My name is Andy. I'm a VC Health and Human Development teacher. In this short video, we're looking at answering questions about human development, and this is relevant to Unit 4, Era Study 1, and Era Study 2 for the 2025 plus HHD study design. If you don't already, there's lots of ways you can engage with the Health Resources Hub. If you're on YouTube at the moment, you can subscribe with the button in the bottom corner of the video there to our YouTube channel. That means you'll get alerts to all of our new videos as they come out across the year. We've also got our website, the hrh.net.au, where there's lots of opportunities for HHD students and teachers, and that's being updated regularly so please check that out also got our instagram tiktok and facebook pages where you can follow us and get alerts to our videos other opportunities as well as sac and exam tips and advice for hhd and also our email info at the hih.net.au if you'd like to get in touch so specifically what parts of the course does this video relate to so i said in the intro there that this is relevant to unit you know, four era study one and era study two but in relation to the key knowledge point that explicitly mentions human development you can see here for unit you know, four era study one the key knowledge point is the concept of human development and the key skill is to be able to explain the concept of human development. Now this is purposely at the beginning of unit four because if you go and have a look at all of the key knowledge and the key skills across unit four you'll see that throughout you continue to be required to link into aspects of human development throughout all sort of aspects of unit four and so I would argue that just like health and well-being and health status is really important across all of unit three and all of unit four human development is one of those sort of third I think key sort of skills or key sort of concepts okay to be across and be able to apply to basically everything okay that you learn across um, unit four so I would say that this is a really important video to sort of take note of okay and this is a really important concept to be on top of because when it comes to the exam at the end of the year as well as obviously your SACs I've sort of looked back okay at previous exams and ones that have happened I would say in sort of the last three four five years often have as much as sort of 40 percent of the questions and the marks allocated questions linked into some of those key okay parts of the course such as health and well-being health status and human development so i would say if you kind of know those really key parts of the course super well then that will really give you sort of an edge over other students that might not be answering those questions as strongly so obviously this sort of third part here okay understanding human development really well is particularly important here for unit four so in saying all that, what is human development? So this is a concept that's different to sort of development that you might have looked at sort of in unit two last year. Here we're looking at a UN, okay, um, description or definition from a number of years ago now regarding the fact that human development is creating an environment which people can develop their full potential, lead productive, creative lives according to their needs and interests. It's about expanding people's choices and enhancing their capabilities, the range of things people can be and do, having access to knowledge, health and decent standard of living and participating in a life, their community and decisions affecting their lives. So in summary, I'd say that human development is really about allowing people to live up to their full potential be the best people that they can be and trying to provide them with opportunities to be able to do that so when we think about um, how human development can be promoted okay in different countries it's really about um, ensuring that people have access to things like health care have access to things like education employment opportunities so they can really stay well okay and I guess, be in that environment where they can sort of develop to their full potential, okay, and reach, okay, their sort of maximum ability to, to live that full sort of life. And so you can see down the bottom there, it mentions that the description of human development can be broken down into key phrases that can be incorporated into answers regarding how the promotion of human development can occur. So what that really means is that when it comes to Unit 4 HHD, you might be asked in relation to a concept that's covered, and that might be perhaps looking at low, okay middle and high income countries and their access to say education and how that might have an impact on the ability of people in those countries to um enhance their human development or live up to okay maximum levels of human development so what you need to be able to do is make sort of meaningful connections and that term meaningful is important to the different phrases that are part of this um, description or definition so when it comes to answering questions about human development, these are essentially those common phrases that your teacher and assessors at the end of the year when they're marking your exam will be looking out for as part of your answers sort of to demonstrate that you understand this concept. It's just like when linking to health and well-being, okay, in an answer you're linking to different dimensions and the specific examples of those dimensions. These are the specific sort of phrases that we'll be expecting you to refer to in an answer when linking to human development. But the important thing to note is they have 
have to be meaningful connections. You can't just sort of list all these different phrases in an answer and not link them to something that's relevant to that concept like education or employment or healthcare. So you can see here, essentially these phrases, okay, are just sort of broken down, okay, or taken from that definition. So expanding people's choices, enhancing people's capabilities, people having access to knowledge, having access to health, a decent standard of living, participating in the life of their community, that opportunity to develop to their full potential and participate in decisions that affect their lives. So we'll have a look in a moment, okay, at a sample question and how you can demonstrate this. But I'd be thinking about, okay, making sure that as well as knowing essentially that um, description that you know sort of as many of these phrases as you can, because it'll help give you some more sort of flexibility, okay, when it comes to sort of answering these questions. I'd probably also be setting up in your um, notes some kind of table where you can practice, okay, linking into these different phrases for different sort of scenarios or parts of the course. You can see it on the bottom there, we've got a free student newsletter. I'll be sending out some of those tables with some sample links into different aspects of human development shortly. So if you'd like to head to our website and sign up to our free student newsletter, if you're a unit three and four student, please do so, so you can get a copy of that as well. Okay, so here you can see a sample question and answer. So the question could be outline how attending school can promote human development for three marks. Now, keep in mind that you could um, alter this question and you could change attending school to participating in work or having access to healthcare, or you could always um, look at some different scenarios from past exams and think about how those sort of case studies could promote people's human development. There's lots of past questions where you can go back and look at um, exam questions where you've been asked to link into human development. So let's have a look at this sample answer here. So you can see I've mentioned there that by attending school, people have the opportunity to develop literacy and numeracy skills to help enhance their capabilities and expand their future employment opportunities. So I bolded there, enhance their capabilities, okay, just to demonstrate to you where there's a link back to some of those phrases from the definition. But you can see that I haven't just said attending school means people enhance their capabilities. I've given that link into developing literacy and numeracy skills. And that's what it means by trying to make these meaningful links, okay, to parts of the um, definition. You have to show that you understand, okay, how this particular um, example, so attending school here, can be meaningfully linked to human development, not just sort of um, listing all of those phrases kind of in a sentence without showing some meaningful link. The second sentence there, at school, they're also provided with access to knowledge, such as the risk of smoking and vaping, helping them to be empowered to make healthy choices in their life. So once again, access to knowledge is obviously the phrase from um, human development, but you're giving an example of the knowledge there that they might have learned at school, so the risks of smoking and vaping, and then talking about empowering them to make healthy choices. So you're making that sort of meaningful link. And then finally, it says there, school can provide an environment where people can acquire knowledge, develop skills, it gives them the opportunity to develop to their full potential. So I always said to my students, I think it's a good idea to sort of link into that sort of phrase, develop to their full potential, okay, to round out an answer about human development, because essentially the start of that definition is about how human development is creating an environment for people to develop to their full potential. So if you can kind of link into that at the last part of your answer, I think that's sort of a nice way to round out answers regarding human development. You can see this is worth three marks here. So I'd probably encourage students to have sort of three meaningful links into, okay, phrases from the human development definition for a sort of three mark question. So depending on how many marks it's worth and if there are any scenarios involved, et cetera, but I'd be trying to sort of link into um, a different sort of phrase meaningfully per mark when it comes to these types of questions. Okay, hopefully you found that video useful. If you want some additional opportunities to practice links to human development, there's lots of questions in this revisions questions book that I've worked on with ACE for the study design this year. So if you head to book.acevc.com, you can order a copy of that in the post. It comes with over 500 marks for the practice questions and sample A plus answers, as well as a full trial exam and sample answers, and also a full chapter on how to answer extended response questions in the end of your exam in section B. So that's something you can order from book.acevc.com. Okay, thanks so much.